Welcome to a tasting and roast analysis of this week's new coffee release, which is Sucala, a washed mixed cultivar coffee from Colombia. If you're new here, my name is James and I run a coffee roastery called The Blending Room based in Hull, East Yorkshire. So let's dive into the coffee. Today, we're gonna to be tasting the Sucala from Colombia and it is, um, a coffee that I have bought to be expressive of the season that we're in now, which is late spring, early summer. Uh, when I think of those times of year, I think of bright, effervescent, fruit-forward coffees, and that's exactly what we get in the cup. I'll have a quick taste, and I'll just describe the sort of flavors that you'd expect to see as a filter brew, the thing that I've got here in front of me today. Mm. Right, so. The first thing that you'll note is a really uh, bright level of acidity. Acidity in coffee gives it structure. It's the thing that sparkles on your tongue and around your palate when you sip your cup. Um, and in coffee, it, it is just such a prized thing, which is why I have pursued speciality coffee specifically as a roaster versus commoditized type of coffees because within high grade Arabica speciality coffees, uh, you find a strong prevalence for fruit denominations in flavor and also this wonderful acidity. So the expression for Sucala is like a mandarin, so sweet orange, a touch of maybe Seville orange as well. And that's where an interesting play between that pithy bitterness comes from uh, those sort of orange fruits. But there is sweetness in there as well. It's, it's not all sharp, as we would say. Um, on the finish, it's got a nice like chocolatey texture, which is synonymous with coffees from this particular uh, area of the world and region. And there's also a smidge of what we've described as kiwi fruit. So, um, a touch, again, more of brightness in acidity, but a touch of tropical as well. It has a beautiful nose. There's all the, all the sort of bright, sweet orange characteristics on the nose. And as far as brewing goes, this will be really well suited to filter brewing. Um, it would do a great job as full immersion in cafetiere brewing as well. Um, maybe as espresso, it might be a little bit bright, uh, but it would probably work quite pretty well with milk as well. Um, however, this coffee, this style of coffee, this style of roasting that I do is very well suited to those who enjoy black coffee. So we'll call it a naked coffee that um, milk or sugar or cream or other things like that aren't in the cup to mar that experience of delightful flavor compounds uh, that speciality coffee brings. Now, let's have a little talk about my roast approach as well. So when I think about roasting, I have to make assessments based on, excuse the seagulls, the size of the bean, the water content and water activity of the bean, whether it's a washed coffee, a natural processed or a pulp natural, what region it's from. There's lots of different things that I have to consider. And also the hypothetical end product. So do I want to mute certain flavor characteristics or bring forward certain flavor characteristics? Now, Colombian coffees, same with Ethiopian, other, other Northeast African, Kenyan coffees, they are lauded for their wonderfully expressive acidity and fruit characteristics, namely citrus fruits from Colombia. So I really wanted to hone in and uh, personify the fact, bring forward the fact that there are these beautiful citrus values within the coffee. How did I achieve that? Well, um, I wanted to achieve a roast profile that was being between 10 and 11 minutes, more towards the 10 minutes in total roast time. And I needed a first crack development time that was maybe a smidge shorter than I would usually do. The consequence for that as a roaster is that you get more of the fruit characteristics, the sugar compounds are more in the white fructose end rather than the caramel colors and you get a more expressive product in the cup. 
So if you have a look at the roast profiles now, what you'll notice is that I've done three roasts. I do three roasts pretty much every week for our subscribers and our retail coffee um, purchasers. Each of the roasts have had a quick post first crack development time, all of which I've also tried to achieve on a slightly lower end temperature than I would do uh, for maybe a coffee from Brazil, which is um, about texture. So I wanted to bring forward the, the notion of brightness in the cup. And I hope I have achieved that. To recap, this is a washed coffee from Colombia. It is entirely fruit forward, lots of citrus, loads of mandarin, that type of vibe. Uh, it will be really well suited for those who enjoy black filter coffee on a sunny, bright summer's day. Uh, I hope you enjoy the coffee. Do come and buy it. It's available on our website now. Subscribers, you should have this in your inbox today. Uh, and uh, for those who enjoy or want to enjoy this, it will be around for a couple of weeks, available at the market today too. Um, come and buy it. Cheers.